Welcome back to the channel. My name is Lynette. Come on in. We're going to give you an update on the kitchen renovation today. So behind me you can see there are some new wall cabinets here and I'll show you in a minute. We have a bunch of other new things. A lot has happened since the original kitchen video. So we have had the plumber in and the plumber has put in a new uh, knobs on the supply lines and adjusted other plumbing where the sink used to be in order to make sure that it will function properly for our new kitchen sink and dishwasher and garbage disposal. We had the electrician in and that turned into a much larger job than was anticipated. Originally it was supposed to be a one day, one person job. It turned into four days of work and one of those was more than one person. And because we hadn't scheduled that much time all in a row ahead of time, we had to fit those days in as we realized we needed them, and it was over the course of a whole month. So that's why it's been such a long time since uh, we've had an update on the kitchen. But uh, that part is part of the way done now. We have, he had to cut into the walls and run some new wires, so we have some new outlets, some new lighting, um, wiring for new switches, and so then he left it that way until we could patch the walls back up, which also required replacing some insulation, and then he'll come back again later. So I'm gonna show you uh, what he has done and what state it's in now, and I'm gonna show you the plumbing, and I'll show you uh, what all we, we've had some other deliveries here, so you can, kind of see how the kitchen is coming together. So you can see here, uh, not much is different with the plumbing. He did remove the old knobs that were on the supply lines and remove um, the backer board from a previous cabinet that was still attached to the wall. So that, he didn't have to do very much and that's all ready for the next step. So the electrical kind of starts here. There will be um, switches here that previously were on the other side of this wall but because the new refrigerator is here now, we needed to move them. And those switches will run an overhead light that doesn't have a spot yet, plus under cabinet lighting. And I can't remember what the third one does. And you can see we still have holes in the wall. This is an interior wall, so there's no insulation in here, but he had to run these lines for, these are uh, under cabinet lighting, a switch that's gonna, this is gonna be moved over here. Um, more under cabinet lighting, another outlet, outlet, um, more under cabinet lighting here, outlet, uh, this is a switch for the, the sink fixture, which will be different, that is the old one, and I believe that's another outlet, there's the, the old fixture, and there's uh, under cabinet lighting over there, and then one outlet that he was able to already change out from the old, um, all the old outlets and switches in the whole house will be replaced because they were actually cracking and falling apart, like the outlet themselves, not just the covers. So that will change. And all this insulation over here, you'll see it's uh, foil meets paper because we had to fill in and we couldn't find an exact match. And now we're working on getting cleaner cuts on these openings and patching all the drywall and really hoping that we don't have to take it all down and start over and do whole walls. So that's all that, and then I will step back and show you kind of what the, oh, there's, there's the wall cabinets over there. Dishwasher still sitting in the middle of the room, microwave hood sitting over there. Now I'll turn around and show you the rest of it. So I forgot to tell you, there's a wire way up here that is gonna come across the ceiling um, for an overhead light fixture, because there's no space for one already. It's going to be complicated to actually get it there um, because of the way the vaulted ceiling is in this room. So I need to actually determine where the fixture needs to go before we you know, start trying to get it into there because you, you only want to do it once. So we have started, uh, well we have all of the kitchen appliances now. We got a great deal at Home Depot on a suite that in the end ended up costing less than the regular full price of just the refrigerator. 
We went with the uh, black stainless steel look, so you can see our new fridge here and the stove. And I showed you before, you saw the back of the dishwasher and the micro hood. So we're really happy about that. And you can see we have dry fitted some of the base cabinets in here and it's starting to actually kind of look like a kitchen again. <laughs> um, we found a mom and pop lumber shop that had uh, kitchen cabinets that they carried pre-assembled in stock and they are the box of them is made with plywood which was the one really important thing to me. I didn't want press board or MDF. I didn't want to risk water damage if there should ever be a flood or something in the kitchen in the future. I know most people think that that's not something you should need to worry about that hardly ever happens, but literally every home that we have owned has flooded in some way. So we're a little, little shy, you know, wary about um, water damage because <laughs> we've spent a lot of money over the years repairing water damage. So we definitely wanted the plywood boxes. We finally found a place. We're so happy about that. Uh, they didn't have everything actually in stock that we wanted, so we did have to order some to come in and we'll have them. She said two to four weeks is typical, so unfortunately we do have to wait a little. We need um, the corner cabinet uh, for both the bottom and the top, and we need one um, upper cabinet that they didn't have the right size in stock. And then where I'm standing that you can't see, there will also be a, an L shape well, an angle, because it'll be equal sides, um, island, and they, the cabinets we need for that were not in stock either. So we're still waiting on a few things. And in the meantime, uh, today actually, we're gonna go get more supplies so that we can finish the drywall and get that actually patched in and mudded and sanded and get the whole thing primed and maybe even paint the walls, I'm not sure yet. And we'll think about, um, actually installing the cabinets when the rest of them come in. Right now they're just kind of sitting there dry fit so we can get an idea on what the space is looking like, make sure you know doors open appropriately. The other thing to mention about these cabinets is the, they are completely unfinished and they are the the plywood part is birch I believe but the front faces are a mixture of birch and poplar. These are considered paint grade and that's probably what we're going to do. I th I'm planning on a very dark charcoal gray on them, um, at least on the lower ones. I haven't decided if I'm gonna do the same on the upper or do something light. Paint is fine with me. I wasn't set on stain or anything. The other thing we need to do with these cabinets is these are very basic and we want to have the soft close drawers and doors. So we are gonna have to replace all of the hardware on them as well as do all the finishing. And also because they did not have the big drawer units that I was hoping to get, um, like you often see with Ikea kitchens, I'm going to have to retrofit cabinet spaces with, and you know, pull out drawer units that you install into the base of the cabinet. That's all fine. It's just going to take a bit of work uh, to get these cabinets where exactly where we want them, but I'm totally good with that because it's, it's still cheaper in the long run than buying pre-finished so that's our kitchen update for now, and uh, we're working on lots of other projects too. The weather turned really nice here, so you'll be seeing updates on the garden and the pasture to orchard transition uh, coming up soon. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next video.